Hi everyone. I just took apart an old smoke detector and I thought I'd show you a little bit about the dangers or so-called dangers of uh, old smoke detectors you may have in your house. Anyway, this is the guts of it. As you can see, it was hardwired to the house. It had been here roughly since its construction, so it's pretty old. These are a few other little guts I took out. As you can see, a bit aggressively, but that's beside the point. This here is, looks like a lead tube with a piece of amorosia in it. This is common in most smoke detectors, and I'm not sure how, but it's used to detect the presence of smoke. Anyways, this is a Geiger counter. It can only read gamma and beta radiation, as far as I know. And I'm just going to show you a little bit about it. Note that this is on the highest possible setting. So it's very sensitive right now and will detect very small amounts of radiation. Keep that in mind though. Let's try the test source on its own. As you can see, the dial moves up quite rapidly. Almost to the very end. I really don't know how this machine works properly, but I found that kind of interesting. And you don't really need too much knowledge to interpret what you're seeing here. I'll just show you to demonstrate. This is the radioactive check source on the side. As you can see, the meter, again, shot up pretty much the end. Now, this little plate is between that piece of americium and pretty much the outside world. So I'm just going to check to see if this really protects you from it. Let's put that right there. Let's see if it gets back. Oh, not going to balance. I'm going to bend it a bit. Shouldn't damage the test too much, even though it has a little cut out of it. There's some pretty flat pieces, so I'm going to try something else. Okay. It's flat against the piece, and right against the tube. And look at that. There is a bit of radiation, which I understand is gamma radiation coming from the americium source. And the meter is touching half. Now, again, I'm not qualified to interpret this data, but that means that radiation was emitting past that little metal plate, which was the only real defense against the radiation coming from your smoke detector. Note this is a very old one. So, see it as you will, really. I thought it was kind of interesting. Anyways, I'm off.